team that we have some pretty great finishes when we go to Watkins Glen. Well, Marcus Ambrose's racing career began in the V8 Supercar Series in Australia, where he remains a racing superhero. Here in the States, his success has come on the familiar road courses. Kelly Stavis is at Richard Petty Motorsports with the Tasmanian Star. Marcus, your two Sprint Cup wins have both come at Watkins Glen. You've also had three nationwide wins there. When you head back to that track, is there a sense of confidence and relief because of your success, or is there added pressure because expectations are so high? Well, expect expectations are certainly high, and I want to turn that expectation into opportunity. And, uh, yeah, there is added pressure that comes to a weekend like this, but nothing that I haven't dealt with before. And, and I actually use that uh, to my benefit, you know, where it allows our team to really focus in on the job at hand. We go to the track every week trying to win the races. We know that this week, you know, we have a better opportunity to do that. And, uh, and the win is what it's all about in the Cup Series these days. If you can win, uh, win a race, you lock yourself into the chase. And, and so there's a lot of benefits, a lot of upside to, uh, to performing well here this weekend. You'll also be racing in the nationwide race at Watkins Glen. I mentioned those three wins. The last time you've raced nationwide there was in 2010. Why do it again this weekend? What do you hope to accomplish? Uh, well, this has been on the schedule all year for us. We just didn't announce it. And, uh, and Stanley uh, sponsoring both the race cars on the weekend. So it's exciting for, for them to have a chance to win two races uh, in one weekend. And, and last year we raced at Mid-Ohio. This year we made it a little simpler by uh, racing at the one venue. And uh, it's going to help us a little bit perhaps just uh, to get a feel on how the tyres wear into the racetrack and, and see what happens to the race um, on Saturday. It's 80 laps, the nationwide race, uh, which is only uh, you know, 10 odd laps shorter than... Uh, in the cup race. So uh, it's going to give us me a good shakedown, see how the brakes go, see how the, uh, you know, the track really comes in. Your last win came in 2012. It was an epic finish between you and Brad Keselowski. What was it like to be a part of that and come out on the winning side? Well, it was just random that I won the race. I mean, uh, Brad was throwing it all down as I was, and there was no guarantee we were both going to make it to the finish line even. And, uh, you know, to win on a day like that, it's just a dream come true and certainly will go down in my racing history is one of the, the greatest moments that I've had and, and Brad went on to win the championship that year so it was even more special really that you, you're able to beat the champion of the year uh, to a race finish like that but it was a little bit of help with some oil down the racetrack that made it so spectacular. I'm hoping for a bit of an easier run this weekend if I can. Well if not Watkins Glen of these last five races where do you see your other best opportunity to get a win and get into the chase? We've got Bristol coming up which we ran top five with in the in the spring and uh, any week you can come out and surprise yourself so we're not going to give up until you know we're not locked in the chase and the chase has started we feel like we've got a chance to win any weekend. Marcus Ambrose currently 20th on that chase grid. Yeah Kelly look